Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you a speech that I did in front of 100 teachers. But before we start, it is the original video and the original audio, but from an editing side of things, I tried to make it the best that I can do. For a little bit more insight into the speech, it was for the launch of the LGBT guidance pack for schools, which is a pack put together by people in the LGBT community and members of Hampshire County Council went through this pack to make it the best that it possibly can be. However, if you are a teacher anywhere in this world, you are allowed to look at the resource, you're allowed to use the resource, and if you're not a teacher, you're also allowed to read it. I'll leave a link for it down below. So without any delay, let's start that countdown. Does anyone get anxiety from a name? Like you see a certain name on a poster or hear it on the radio and it makes you cringe every time you see it or hear it. Like that name has ruined the whole human race for everyone with that name. I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, I have that. In some cases it's called gender dysphoria. Roughly 400,000 people in our country suffer from gender dysphoria, also known as gender identity disorder. More than 66% of that 400,000 are under the age of 18. And in most cases, every time they see the name that they were given at birth on a letter home or a certificate, they don't just cringe, they feel as if the whole world came crashing down on them. Please raise your hand if you know what most of the people who have gender dysphoria call themselves. You at the back? I'm transgender. Correct. And how many known genders are there as listed on the official My Umbrella website? Seven. Ten. More, more, Eight. more, more. Yes. More. It's 89 known genders. My final question is, how many of the 89 can you list? Just kidding. Um, <laughs> you see, I was your average kid at school. I wasn't super smart according to the tests I was forced to take. And I wasn't popular at school. I tried not to get into too much trouble. I did all of my homework. <laughs> and I only got two detentions at secondary school. One was for getting my PE kit. And the second was forgetting that I had a detention for forgetting my PK. It was a long day. <laughs> so why was it that I got bullied to the point where kids took photos of me and edited them to look like I was licking windows to show the teachers that I was strange and for the teachers to phone home? And to get blamed for someone slapping me in the face and accused of lying even when the person who hit me said it was an accident? And for me to be set on fire in a bus and strangled by a bit of rope which was on fire while being held down and beat up by four other boys. I think I know why. Growing up, I had this strong disconnect with myself. I didn't feel right and I was often told by my peers that I was strange and odd. I knew deep down it wasn't just me who had these feelings that I wasn't quite normal. I hated sports, but loved ballet and other sorts of dancing. I didn't enjoy getting dirty or seeing gory stuff. It took me eight years to really connect the dots and to realize that I was transgender. Don't get me wrong, I was six years old when I really knew something was up, but at 14, during a project I was working on with Welsh National Opera, I really experimented with gender. But the turning point was on one rainy morning on Tuesday, during a science lesson. There was nothing about feet and grass. I looked at the graph on the board and I saw it had one row and two columns. One said feet size and the other said male and female. I put my hand up and asked, what if we were recording the feet size of people who were not male or female? To which my teacher bluffed as they were not expecting that question, at which point someone at the back of the class yelled something like, 
Aren't you transgender? Targeted right at me. After that day, I struggled to get the courage to go back to school. Meetings were held and the talk with my family and the school began. In the weeks to follow, I dropped out of school midway through year 10. No GCSEs, no job to attend, nothing. Months passed and the new academic year began. I contacted a local college to see if I could attend a year early. I was accepted. Now college wasn't an easy journey for me, but I finished the year with my math and English GCSEs, <coughs> as well as a decent grade in performing arts. During my time at college, I made videos now and then and uploaded to YouTube and grew a following. Little did I know at that time, the tiny following that I had was about to change my life forever. I now create high quality content on YouTube about trans issues, tips and tricks, as well as tutorials. I also make vlogs and life related stuff, but that's another whole story. If it wasn't for the tricky times that I experienced at secondary school and college, who knows where I would have been, but unfortunately those times were not pleasant, and they did change me a lot. I wish my school knew how to support trans people properly. Don't get me wrong, they were great, but they didn't have an environment that was pre-existing that made me feel safe. Things like a gay straight alliance group would have made my time at school more bearable as surrounding myself with other people who didn't fit in would have helped me connect the dots sooner. Having books in the library which were about LGBT topics and having books written by people in the LGBT community would have helped me as this would have given me hope that the people around me would have been supportive of my transition. Having assemblies or lessons where young adults in the LGBT community would take the time to talk to my year to help my peers understand that being gay or trans is okay. Making my generation on a whole want to come to school is hard enough already, but creating a warm and welcoming environment will help the people who wake up dreading another day of school feel more accepted and cared for. Some trans kids are rejected by their friends and family. Don't let them feel as if they've been rejected by the education system. So that is the speech that I did in front of 100 teachers. If you want to see the vlog of that day, I'll try to remember to leave it down below in the description as well. Along with the LGBT guidance pack for schools. If you have any criticism or feedback or whatever about my speech that I did, leave it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to read through all of your comments. And remember as always to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.